bending, bending, bending my elbows, bending my elbows. And that's what allows me to establish a steady contact, to get my horse round, to have my horse happily going forward, all those good things. A good rider can make the sitting trot look so easy as they glide around the arena in perfect harmony with their horse. But for you, it just seems impossible. Don't worry, you're not alone. Sitting trot is a skill. It's something that every single rider has to learn how to do. The biggest mistake riders make is that they try to sit still to avoid bouncing. But the truth is that your body has to move a lot to absorb the motion of your horse's trot. So let me ask you this, has anyone ever really taught you step by step what each part of your body should be doing in order to sit the trot? And that's where I come in. Hi, I'm Amelia and I have thousands of students all over the world. Inside my brand new sitting trot challenge, you will have all the tools that you need to learn how to sit the trot. You will go from embarrassed and bouncing to connected and secure. When you join today, you will get instant access to step-by-step -step video exercises, live trainings and Q&A sessions with myself and my incredible team, readings and audio recordings on the sitting trot, and you will join an incredible community for support. Plus, I'm giving away $10,000 in prize money to the top 10 sitting trot transformations. Get started today, and in a matter of weeks, you'll be amazed by the transformation in you and in your horse. Stop bouncing and start sitting. Simply click the link below, and I will see you on the inside. Hello everyone, in this video we are talking about why your elbows are the most important joint in your body when you're riding your horse. I'm gonna give you a little illustration of the correct way to use your elbows and also the incorrect way to use your elbows. And it's super important the way your elbows move varies depending on the gait. So depending on whether you're at the walk, the trot, and the canter. Also check out the description box. I'm doing a 30 day sitting trot challenge. So if you're struggling with a sitting trot, if you're struggling with keeping a steady contact, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. If I'm just walking and I'm on a completely loose rein, what you'll see is that you'll see my horse's neck is nodding a little bit up and down because the neck is connected to his back and his back is swinging. So both at the walk and at the canter, your horse's neck oscillates. And the job of your elbows is to allow that oscillation because if your elbows are stiff, you're going to not be able to accept it. You're not gonna be able to establish a steady contact and you're gonna block your horse's motion and their hind legs. So when I'm taking up a steady contact here at the walk, you can see how my elbows are bending and straightening, bending and straightening, bending and straightening. And this is doing two things. It's allowing my horse to keep the same rhythm of the walk, to keep pushing, to keep swinging through his back. But it's also allowing me to establish a steady contact because it's really important that you establish a steady contact so that you can control your horse. So you can turn them and steer them and get them round and on the bit. So if I lock my arms at the walk, if I just lock out my elbows, you see what happens, how I no longer have that steady contact. He's pretty good, he's still walking pretty forward, but a lot of horses would just stop right away. So I'm gonna go up to trot. We're gonna check out what our elbows do in the trot. So same thing in the sitting trot. Because his back is going up, down, 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 my elbows, every time his back goes down, my elbows are bending a little more. So bend, 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 bend. This is allowing me to establish a steady contact. 
if I lock out my elbows in the sitting trot, look what happens to my contact, right? And look what happens to my horse. So I have to have this soft, elastic, following elbow. Same thing in the rising trot. A lot of people when they're first learning to ride, and especially kids, they do this in the rising trot, where their hands are posting the trot as well. This is incorrect, and it's gonna be really difficult to get your horse round if your hands are posting up and down. So in the rising trot, every time you go in the saddle, your elbows need to bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Not completely straight, but you can see how my elbows are bending more, straightening a little more, bending more, straightening a little more. And that helps me to absorb what my body is doing. If you're having trouble feeling this motion, you can kind of just rest your outside hand on your fuzzy pad. So I have my, my left pinky there is just resting on my fuzzy pad. And that's gonna help me to find that nice steady contact. Now the canter, same thing. I would say the canter is probably the most important gait that you find this following elbow because of the motion of the canter, which is like a wave, your horse's back has a lot of motion and that motion goes into your horse's neck. So you can see here how my elbows are going bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. Oh boy. If I lock my elbows in the canter, it's really, really uncomfortable for my horse, right? His tail is swishing. He's breaking to the trot. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. A oh boy. A oh boy. So it's super important that I find this steady contact and that I really think about bending, bending, bending my elbows, bending, bending, bending my elbows, bending my elbows. And that's what allows me to establish a steady contact, to get my horse round, to have my horse happily going forward, all those good things. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So in your next ride, really think about your elbows and think about how important it is that you have the right amount of motion in your arms to establish a steady contact. Also check out our 30 day sitting trot challenge. I go a lot more into detail, not only about your elbows, but also about what your seat should be doing to follow and absorb your horse's motion. So I would argue that probably like your hips and your elbows are honestly the most important joints in your body. Let me know in the comments what you think. I guess when you think about it, it's really all of the joints in your body that need to be moving in the right way to absorb the motion of your horse. And that's something that's hard to do, but also super important um, when you figure out how to follow in perfect harmony with your horse's motion, that's when it gets really fun. So I hope this video has helped you out for your next ride. Think about those falling elbows and don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every single Wednesday. Thank you.